Legend of Fail. Zelda II The Adventure of Link is a popular game choice for speedrunners looking to break records and set themselves apart from other speedrunners in the gaming community. The Adventure of Link may seem like an odd choice for gamers who are not used to speedrunning through games or levels, especially when the term speedrun brings to mind completing a level in a side-scrolling game like Super Mario Bros. Gamer Pro JN was up to the task of attempting yet another Adventure of Link speedrun. During his streamed run, he stated that he needed to die again in order to refill his magic and skip Thunderbird to hit his time for the run. Since many speedrunners rely on certain glitches and tricks, this plan was no surprise to anyone watching the stream and everything appeared as though it was going according to plan. That is, until ProJN stepped off of a platform and was immediately killed by an enemy. Shaking his head in disbelief, he muttered, the run's over. To outsiders, it may not seem like a huge setback since he had planned to die anyway, but given that this death was unintentional, it probably wouldn't have helped him keep his time down like he had originally planned. Road to Nowhere there is no level that strikes fear into the hearts of gamers quite like Rainbow Road from any incarnation of Mario Kart. Since Super Mario Kart was released in 1992, fans of the franchise have regularly tried to beat this level in a decent amount of time. The level is extremely challenging, however. Not only is the road floating somewhere in outer space, giving kart drivers a fear of heights and ample room to plunge to their deaths, but the curves on Rainbow Road are twisting and unforgiving. It's no surprise that competitive speedrunners would look to this level as the challenge to end all challenges. Even the most skilled players have difficulty navigating the difficult rainbow disco terrain, but it just so happens that there are certain tricks that any player can use to get ahead in this level, if they can pull them off with extreme accuracy and perfect timing. Utilizing one such trick, Abney317 was determined to finish Rainbow Road with a perfect timing and set a speedrun record. The trick calls for the player to bounce off another character and freefall down to another portion of the road. Unfortunately, things didn't go as planned and Abney317 overshot the portion of the road he aimed to hit, sending Toad into a freefall. NPC Nope Grand Theft Auto San Andreas probably isn't the first game to come to mind when you think of speedruns. Typically, games in the Grand Theft Auto franchise are known for being long and involved stories with plenty of missions to keep every player busy. The involved storyline of all Grand Theft Auto games must hold some pull for speedrunning gamers though, as it has become a popular series for speedrunners to compete with. In fact, one record set by Lel Reset has his time to complete the game clocked in at an impressive 4 hours 22 minutes and 19 seconds. There are sure to be several speedrunners itching at the chance to beat that record. During the speedrun, Joshimus needed the NPC riding in the back of his motorcycle in order to complete his mission. After Joshimus' motorcycle gets caught between a train and a train bridge, he spins out and loses the NPC. While he tries to recover the motorcycle in order to continue the mission, the NPC decided to take a long stroll off the short bridge. It briefly seemed like not all was lost and Joshimus attempted to follow the NPC to regain control of his run and finish the mission, but in doing so, he landed right on top of the rogue NPC and killed him instantly. Thanks, Carl. Since its North American release in 1995, Earthbound has obtained somewhat of a cult following among some gamers. As a role-playing game in the same vein as Pokemon, it's not a game that immediately makes a player want to complete it as fast as possible. In spite of this, Earthbound has become popular among speedrunners and the competition has become quite fierce with mere seconds separating each record. Gamer Ultimals has set records in the past with his best time being 3 hours 47 minutes and 41 seconds as of April 2017. Second place on that leaderboard was beaten out out by a mere two seconds. Speedrunning is, of course, completely dependent on dedication and perfect timing. One misstep or malfunction could potentially ruin hours of preparation and practice. Other outside factors could also negatively affect the gameplay as well, and that is precisely what happened to Sinistral 314 as he attempted a speed run of Earthbound on his PC. Partway through his run, a dog can be heard barking off screen, but Sinistral 314 is completely dedicated to finishing his run. That is, until his dog decides to intervene, running across what appears to be his keyboard. In and of itself, that isn't enough to completely ruin a speed run, but the dog's actions are enough to freeze the game, causing Sinistral 314 to exclaim, Thanks, Carl. Bombs Away Super Mario 64 would be an amazing game to try a speedrun on with numerous dangers and ridiculously fun levels, it seems like the perfect game to get into speedrunning either as a hobby or competitively. Since its North American release in 1996, Super Mario 64 has captured the attention of Mario fans across the globe. While it did contain the usual cast of characters that had regularly been seen in the franchise, the 64 was relatively new technology back then and created an entirely different level of gameplay, so it would make sense that speedrunners would attempt to set records with this icon. 
iconic game. In one such attempt, gamer Bouncy Boy came across a Chukya on a ledge, a new iteration of the previous Babam enemy from earlier games. Chukyas can explode, but only if they are thrown. Bouncy Boy needed to launch the Chukya from the ledge in order to keep time on his speedrun. The Chukya had other plans and continued to throw Mario around as well. Just when it seemed as though Bouncy Boy had things under control, the Chukya grabbed Mario from behind and launched him off the very ledge he was trying to throw the Chukya from. Kirby's Nightmare Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland for the Game Boy Advance is typically the type of game that comes to mind when you hear the term speedrun. A challenging platform action game is perfectly set up for a speedrun, and this revamped version of the previously released Kirby's Adventure has received plenty of attention from speedrunners. According to speedrun.com, the current record for a speedrun of Nightmare in Dreamland as of 2017 clocks in at an impressive 39 minutes and 17 seconds. This certainly sets a high bar for other competitive speedrun gamers, and who wouldn't want to beat that record? Mr. Shasta set out to beat Halo Dude's record and was making decent time in doing so. During his run, it was estimated that the actions he took shaved off a potential 11 minutes or more, so Mr. Shasta was confident that he could continue on his path to victory. There was just one problem. During a particularly challenging level, Mr. Shasta guided Kirby through a series of platforms that were swarming with enemies. At one point, he nearly plummets to his death, but manages to recover in the nick of time. Kirby attempts to float up and land on one of the surrounding platforms, and Mr. Shasta nearly had everything under control right up until Kirby gets blasted in the back by a wayward fireball. Glitch of Time the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time was another popular title on the Nintendo 64. Again, it's not another title that automatically calls the term speedrun to mind, but nevertheless, the game has seen its fair share of competitive speedrun trials. The Legend of Zelda franchise has been popular for a number of years, so it's really no surprise that older titles would make a return to popularity in the form of speedruns. The current record as of 2017 is a lightning quick 17 minutes and 9 seconds. Casual gamers may look at the time as a daunting task, but competitive speedrunners see that as an ultimate challenge. Beating such a record would take plenty of practice, determination, and luck. Mostly luck though due to the fact that outside forces can easily lay waste to any gamer's carefully calculated plans. That is precisely what happened on one gamer's attempted speedrun of Ocarina of Time. About 11 minutes in, it appears as though the speedrun is going well. Link executes a handful of somersaults before taking off running and jumping straight towards a bridge. He nearly makes the jump and manages to land on a small ledge and that's where everything goes horribly wrong. Link glitches out and jiggles around, trapped on the bridge. Ice Cold the Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past is one of the most memorable video games of all time. Originally released in 1991 for the Super Nintendo and Game Boy Advance, longtime gamers have been addicted to this series since it first arrived on the scene. As with other Zelda franchise speedruns, Link to the Past appears to be a favorite of competitive speedrunners. As of 2017, the current time to beat on a speedrun for Link to the Past is an impressive 1 hour, 23 minutes, and 19 seconds. Considering that fans of the game had a hard enough time completing the entire game pre-internet, getting through the entire game in such a short amount of time is no easy task. During the Ice Palace portion of his playthrough, one player is making considerable time and it appears as though he may be making serious progress. No, it wasn't an enemy that caused his speedrun fail. The player is thwarted by a floor and a door. As Link slides around on the ice, getting through the next door seems nearly impossible. Wasting several seconds of precious time while sliding around on ice is not the way any gamer wants to fail their speedrun, but luckily, the player eventually makes it through the door. Dark Fail The Dark Souls franchise has a reputation amongst gamers as being one of the most unforgiving games in video game history. With a game being so notoriously hard, why would anyone want to attempt a speedrun of any of the Dark Souls games in the first place? In reality, it seems like a nearly impossible task to undertake. Nevertheless, numerous gamers have taken up the challenge of completing Dark Souls speedruns and, surprisingly, some of them have been quite successful. Current records as of 2017 have some speedruns timed in at about 42 minutes and 44 seconds. Considering the difficulty of the games overall, this is certainly a feat worth bragging about. One such player made multiple attempts to complete a timely speedrun of Dark Souls, but one attempt stood out more than others. In this scenario, the player was being cornered on the stairs by two formidable enemies that refused to let him pass. As he dances around attempting not to die outright, a glimmer of hope finds him and he excitedly runs past his enemies to safety. Or so it seems. In a moment of weakness, he stops to drink from his Estus flask, and that's precisely when he catches a sword straight through his chest. Prince of Crashes 
The Prince of Persia Sands of Time was originally received poorly upon its initial release in 2003. However, a few glowing reviews later and some interest in other parts of the world catapulted the game onto players' wish lists. As a third-person action-adventure game with a smattering of puzzles, the game itself was entertaining. Speedruns on this game do not seem as popular as speedruns of other games on this list, but that does not mean that no one is attempting to beat the current highest record. In fact, some speedrunning websites list the current record as 1 hour, 17 minutes, and 13 seconds as of 2017. If a player were looking into getting started in speedrun trials, this might be the game to start with since the competition isn't as high on Sands of Time. In July of 2015, a gamer by the moniker Henneko sets his sights on an easy 80-minute run of the game for the Summer Games Done Quick Charity Marathon. In spite of all of Henneko's best intentions, the speedrun quickly unraveled before his very eyes when at the 11-minute mark, the game crashed and he did not save his previous progress. Which of these was your favorite? Have you ever tried to complete a speedrun? Let us know in the comments, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content. Don't forget to check out our playlist. Thanks for watching.